Welcome everybody, it is Touchstone Life Fitness. I'm Steph and today we are doing our one hour core class. Um, today I have these handy dandy gliders. We are going to do some sliding plank moves today. If you're at home and you have hardwood, make sure you have like a towel, oversized socks, your ex's oversized t-shirt that you're like, I need to make use of this energy, use it. Um, if you're on carpet, you can use like those vegetable packaging styrofoam stuff. Um, you can use like maybe a plate, maybe some cardboard, just something that's gonna allow you to do some plank gliding moves. Now, if you don't wanna do that later, it's fine. I got you, I will tell you what we're gonna do when we get there. Um, but yeah, that's it. One hour with me and I'm excited for us. I switched up a little bit of this one hour, so if you've been with me, get excited, because I am, and I have not tried this out, so we will try it out together. And if you haven't, welcome. We're gonna start off with our three minute plank hold. We're gonna end with our three minute plank hold, um, and then we're gonna do a cardio hit. So I'm excited. Y'all ready? So we're gonna start off in our three minute plank, and that means you're going to get into your plank position. Now before I get us into our plank, I want you to make sure your hands, index finger and thumb make a nice L. You have a slight bend in those elbows so that they face forward in case you tend to overextend. Um, and we're gonna fill that space between our shoulder blades. I often say fill it. So you're gonna puff it up so that you're really engaging those ribs and filling it up here instead of sinking into those shoulders. We don't want this. All right, so we're gonna tuck in that pubic bone, tuck in that belly, shoulders under wrists. Shoulders over wrists, <laughs> feet about hips width apart, and we are going to start right now. Solid, clock is starting, three minute plank hold. We're gonna start off with some circles just around the wrist. So again, from the crown of my head, to the nape of my neck, switch it around. <sighs> to weaving those lower ribs, belly button to the spine. We are circling, and from here, I want us to go back and forth, three minutes. You got this? You ready? We ready. All uh, right, three, two, and one. Neutralize that spine. Find yourself shoulders over wrists. Balls of your feet planted on the mat. And we are going to do shoulder taps. We're tapping one shoulder and then the next. Mm, making sure we're getting that belly button to not sink into the mat. From here, I want us to lift up our legs. We got five, four. We're just gonna breeze through these three minutes. Isolating our moves. Last one. Right here, let's get into commandos. So, we're going up and down, alternating the arm. Ooh, that we are dropping. I have my handy timer with me. It's great. How are you, YouTube? I've missed you. I don't know what month it is. Maybe it's February. As I recorded, it's February. Let's stay here in our elbow plank, pressing full length of our middle finger to the elbows into that mat. Breathe. I want your shoulders right over those elbows. Ooh, I am feeling that heat. I'm really thinking about filling that space between the shoulder blades. I'm really weaving together those lower ribs, making sure I'm tucking in those hips, tucking in that pubic bone, balls of my feet into the mat. And in three, two, and one, I want you to hip dip, nice and slowly. Um, so we're gonna hip dip. There's no reason why you should sink into those shoulder blades. Uh, this is just to warm up our obliques. We do it nice and slow so that we pay attention to the rest of what our body is feeling. And in three, two, and one, make sure those heels, or sorry, balls of your feet back to the hips width. Replace those elbows with those hands. And we wrap up in a full plank. Slight bend in the elbows. Breathe. Ooh, feel that heat in those shoulders. After this, we've got our cardio hit. I'm excited to try it out. 
I am a little scared about the rest of this workout, but here we are in five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, come on up to downward dog. Press those shoulders toward those hips. No, yes, maybe. Pedal those feet and walk those feet toward your hands. Grab for opposite elbows. Give yourself a nice little hug and dangle here. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And we're up. We're ready for our cardio. So I felt a lot more, a lot stronger with that, um, given I didn't have to do that right after my cardio. So let's keep trying out this rhythm. I have my interval timer. The next 10 minutes is gonna be our cardio hit. We're gonna do 40 seconds each move. Slight rest transition between 13 moves total. Get ready to sweat, get that heart rate up and that body pumping so that we can get ready to stretch. Y'all ready? Never stretch on a cold body. In three, two, and one. <laughs> I think it, it's, wait, it's in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We are doing <laughs> our jumping jacks. That's cute. Okay, lesson learned. My interval timer has a 10 second start function. All right, focus, Stephanie. So, from the crown of my head, nape of my neck, the space between my lower ribs, my belly button to my pubic bone, one nice long line. Shoulders are away from the ears. We are getting our heart rate up with these jumping jacks. And after this, we're gonna do a lumber jack, squat chop sort of thing. I'm just looking at my timer. Hi, here we go. In four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, next up is the squat chop. We're gonna squat to one side, lift up on the other. Hands together, and let's begin. I want you to nice exhale at the top of that twist. We're gonna twist one side, and then we're gonna Twist to the other. I'm getting a really nice transverse abdominal stretch. I'm warming up my quads. I'm warming up my glutes. I'm making sure I have a spot for my vision so that I don't get myself really dizzy. And I'm not getting, letting my arms swing out of control. With all of this, my core is my grounding spot. Awesome. Other side, maybe switch that thread. Three, two, and one. Let's go, right here. So you might notice I'm wearing my tennies. Um, that's because, you know, Great Western has been closed since November. Exhale on the twist. And I was tired of looking at my dirty feet out on YouTube. So here we are, twist, nice, breathe. We got 10 seconds left. Be intentional about every twist. Doesn't matter if it's 40 seconds, doesn't matter if it's 15, we have integrity in our moves. Shake it out. Next up, it's gonna be our front knees. They're gonna look like this with our feet coming up in line with our hips. You begin. So I want a nice straight, long back. Exhale whenever I crunch that knee into my torso. My hands are going right alongside my body. My knees straight and in line with my hips. And I really feel like there's like a string pulling me from my headband and helping me to find my length. Don't sink into that hip. Don't open up that chest. You can look cute on the dance floor later. Right now we look core cute with our good form. But we're doing our high knees and next is gonna be the side knee. This time I will not ruin my mic. I should stop doing this because it's gonna get me really tired. But this is the high knee. You're cutting from the high knee. <sighs> All right, next up is our side knees. Eight seconds. We're gonna go up and out. Y'all ready? Three, two, and one. Get up and go. <sighs> Great. So you're exhaling with the knee coming up. You should feel that nice side crunch. Maybe those body rolls 
coming at you live when you lift up that respective knee. We got a nice exhale as we lift up that knee. I want you to open up those arms nice and wide. Uh, feel the backs of those shoulder blades scraping together. After this, we got a squat cross. I was really ambitious. Let's see if this is gonna work out. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Squat cross next. Hands go by the hand of your neck. Actually, this one, hands go forward. You're gonna squat down, crunch crossover. Squat down, clock start, crunch crossover. Just like that. So parallel those arms with those knees. Knees about hips or a little wider than hip width apart. Your knees never pass those toes. Knees always in the direction of like your middle toe. You don't wanna hurt yourself, your hips. You wanna tuck in that low belly. Exhale with the twist. Some of y'all want those standing ab work. This booty and abs right here. Woo, let's go. Next up, squat leg lift. We're going to squat and leg lift. Clock starts now. So I have my hands in a prayer pose. This just helps me make sure I'm stabilizing the rest of my body. Um, you could get a little extra here by open and bringing those arms down. But remember, we have one more round to go. And then we have the rest of our core workout. So don't tire yourself out on this hit. Let's do this. Endurance, one hour. We got this. Three more seconds. Two and one. Nice job. We're not doing the jacks. We're gonna go back to the lumber chop. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So I don't know what to call this move. I said a lumber chop, but maybe, like I'm getting real like A-Rod vibes here. I should think of a better baseball player. No offense to A-Rod, but I'm only thinking of him at the Biden inauguration, so. But you get the drill. A baseball swing. Maybe a golf swing looks like this. I don't know. Don't at me, golfers. I don't know. Next side. Y'all ready? Hopefully you're not dizzy. Other side cross. Three, two, and one. So remember, what we're doing here in this hit is we're getting our heart rate up. We're definitely building that sweat. We're warming up our body before we stretch, getting that cardio in. Exhale on the twist, let's go. Intentional moves. You probably can hear my breathing. Yes, that's my breathing. Three, two, and one, nice job. High knees, how's my hair? Let's go, three, two, and one. High knees, pick up that pace. I know, you've got it in you. Light landing, exhale. Bring those arms nice and to the sides of you. Try to have that beautiful exhale as you lift up your foot. I think I'm maybe out of the camera, whoops. I'm getting used to it. How's my influencer life? Are y'all ready? Is Touchstone Live ready for this? <laughs> In 10 seconds. Come on. I miss the climbing gym. But you know what? I'm glad we got a workout together. I hope you do too. Eight seconds. Let's go. Side to side. Oh, I'm ready. You're ready. Let's go. <laughs> side to side. 40 seconds. How do y'all like those um, 10 minute workouts? I'm trying out my own workouts. 10 minutes of abs every day. Of course we got our one hour long classes 
I'm trying to get back to my great Western power company teaching days when I teach y'all out here Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're still here, still at Great Western. It's fun. Be mindful of those ribs, still scraping those shoulder blades. Whew. We're almost done. Arms to the side, nice sumo squat to crunch. Three, two, and one. Sumo squat, crunch. All right, we're here. We've got it. Knees and toes pointing in the same direction. Yes to speed, but extra yes to form. Speed does not matter if you're doing poor form. No slouching, no twerking. I love a good twerk off, you know that. It's just not for core. Two and one. Y'all ready? Sumo squat to alternative leg kick. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Squat and kick. After this, we get to stretch. I am, oh wait, I forgot, I'm wearing a mic. Sorry if that was loud. All right, I have to be mindful here. Long back. It's also really good for that side booty. Build that heat, I love it. First I was really cold, then Ryan turned up the sauna heat up in here, and then we got this hit. All right, friends, I'm so proud of you. You did it. We are getting on with our stretch. So, with your hands to the side, jump out a little wider than hips width. We do hip circles for five, four. This is the part where we slow it down, think about what's maybe achy or tight, still a little cold. Switch it around for five, four. Keep that back nice and long, everything woven together. Two, and one nice job, shoulder circles for five, four, three, two, really draw them up and bring them down. The switch sides for five, four, Three, two, and one. Head circles, three. Find that length. Make sure you weave together those lower ribs. Two. Still tucking in that belly. I know I like to extend mine. That's my neutral. Switch sides. Keep drawing those shoulders away from the ears, yeah? Two. I have a hip hop hit playlist going on right now. So it's a fun stretch move. Hands out to a T, shoulders and hips nice and squared, firmly feeling solid in the insides of those toes. We go side to side. Everything from the hips low, nice and solid. Everything above the hips, warming up with our right arm. We go over to our left. So we feel that top right arm stretch, bottom left arm stretch. Really feel that nice shoulder stretch, really get that crunchy, all those rolls. Love your body, we learn to love our body, right? We go for five, four, three, two, and one. We go to, toward the same side and we come into a flat back. Shoulders and hips nice and squared. Belly button to the spine. I extend my top right arm, back left arm. Tuck in that left hip so they're nice and squared. Really feel that stretch. And with your next exhale, exhale. Bring it on down. I'm engaging my low belly to bring me as close as I can to my quads till I can't anymore. And I drop those hands, shoulders away from your ears, bend that back knee. Come on up. Bend it again, flexing that front leg. Shoulders away from your ears, come on up. Walk those hands through to the center. Relax the tension in the neck. Grab for the opposite hands behind that low back. Drop them. No, yes, maybe. Go ahead, drop those hands. Slight bend the knees, roll up one vertebra at a time. With the crown of your head and your shoulders down, up last. Hands to a T, side to side. Left hand 
goes over to our right or whatever's the other side. We really feel that top arm stretch, bottom arm stretch in the opposite direction. Then we pulse five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We stretch again, tilt flat back, tuck in that hip, extend that top arm, back bottom arm. Nice extension, and with that exhale, we fold over, engaging that area between belly button to the pubic bone. Ooh, keep tucking that hip. Hands come down, shoulders away from ears, relax that neck, bend back knee. Come up, bend it again, flexing that front leg. Come on up, walk those hands through to the center. All right, we go to the outside of that right ankle, one inhale, nice inhale in. And with that exhale, deepen that stretch, still keeping both of those feet forward. Walk through to center, outside that left angle. And with that exhale, deepen that stretch. Center, walk those feet, maybe one or two foot swivels apart with your elbows to the knees. First, tuck in that back. When you're ready, hands go to the knees and we drop in that right shoulder twist from the tailbone, all the way up through the crown of your head. Come back on up, drop in that left shoulder. And with that exhale, deep in that stretch. Right, left, center. We ready, come back to center. Bring those feet together. Grab for opposite elbows. One more little hug, shake it out. Shake it on outside, bend the knees up one vertebra at a time and we're up. And we are going to move those arms. Blood circulated, cell five. We're ready, okay. You know, I like questioned whether I should wear this crop top because to be honest, I haven't feeling that great about my body. But you know what? This is all about being honest and authentic, even right here on YouTube. And I too am just focused on how I get kinder with my body and self, understanding and focused on just being strong and healthy. All right, so thank you for joining me on this journey. Next up, go ahead and grab a sip of water if you want while I get my timer ready. What we're about to do is we are going to do a nice 17-ish minute core. So usually I break up this section by having, come on timer, work with me, um, by having a warm up and then a strength build. Today we are doing um, a whole 20 sets of moves, 45 seconds each. No breaks, just transitions. I'm pumped, I am ready. I am going to get my playlist going um, because we need a good playlist. And we're ready. The first one is of course going to be our core drop. So. You're gonna start off with your ankles, knees and hips nice and squared. We're gonna tuck in that low belly, nice flat long back, and our shoulders are gonna come on out. Shoulders away from your ears, looking forward, and in three, two, one, we fall on back. We drop as far as we can until we have to really hold it together. You should really feel that tremble. Your shoulders are away from your ears. You're tucking in those hips, and you're nice and squared for three, two, and one, we come up, we sink in those feet a little closer, still having knees, toes in same direction as your hips, and we fall on back again, right to that spot where you really press that low back into your stomach, and nice and pressed together, shoulders away from your ears, three, two, and one, and we come up, one more time, all the way to your body, away from your ears, and you fall back to wherever you need to be, and we hold, Two and one, nice job. Stretch, next up is a crunchy frog. Hands by your side, shoulders away from your ears. We're gonna sink in and come out. Let's go. So nice, exhale. As we bring those knees into this chest. Wow. I, um, like I said, I haven't actually tried this whole set in one go. I tried the flow. I was like, okay, I'm like a solid like eight out of 10 comprehensive core, but 45 seconds, no breaks, just transitions with shoes. 
let me tell you, these shoes are still like a little ankle weight. So we'll see how I am by move number 20. Nice job. Next up is going to be our seated bicycles. We're gonna have a lean, hands go behind the knee of our neck. We're gonna go one, two, three, and hold for one, two. You got it. One, two, three. One, two, three. How's that feeling? Get that transverse abdominals. We stay out of our hips. This is a low ab workout. We are here. Three, two, and one. I love it. Next up is the earthquake. Feet go nice and in front of you, hands by your side. Lower it all down, just like a um, core drop. But this time extended, and we bring one arm up. And we hold for five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides for five. Sorry, not for five for 15, 15 each, and then we do a double hold. Ooh, watch us shake. Here we go, three, two, one, both hands, nice. Feel that length, really press belly button to the spine. Nice flat long back, maybe go a little lower. Don't drop, just hold it. Three, two, one, nice job. We come to the back. The full length of our backs to the mat. Hands parallel by our ears. We're gonna crunch in to get oh, knee, elbow, and we hold. Three, two, one. Three times. Three, two, one, and we hold for three, two, one. Nice job, at your own pace. Now, I don't know, for those of y'all who've been to my class, three, two, one in real life and we used to have a partner workouts. This was called the Kinder Egg, that nice chocolatey egg of goodness. We have to hold it as your partner tries to break you apart. Same move right here. Three, two, and one, nice job. Next up is going to be a heel tap to a side crunch. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna to go to the heel tap, and then we're gonna crunch up to the side. Heel tap, crunch up to the side. One side first. Whoa. I feel like this takes a little bit of coordination. I really want us to burn through our obliques. If you can, Shoulders off the mat. I'm gonna emphasize this every time we're here on the mat, but I want you to make sure that small of your back in the lower part of your back is constantly hugging the floor. It shouldn't come up, because then you're gonna hurt your back. Three, two, and one. Nice job, eight seconds. Then we're gonna do the other side. Don't tug that neck, lift up those shoulders. Three, two, and one. Heel tap, cross crunch. Heel tap, cross crunch. Nice job. Breathe, nice exhale as we're reaching for that heel. And as we get that elbow to that knee. Now try to keep those hips and knees squared, right? So you're not twisting in that knee to meet your elbow. You're getting that elbow nice and high to help you up. After this, we are gonna get into some side plank action. Get ready, y'all. Nice job. All right, side plank in a dip. We find ourselves in genie, side plank. This is what happens, you reach and you crunch. You reach and you crunch. It's like we're making a nice rainbow with our body. Last week, we made a nice thread the needle. I need to take off my headband. 
my sisters and brothers and siblings out here with a short-ish hair that's short enough to tie, not long enough to tie back. Help me out with the hair tips. Slide into the comments with both your favorite core move and hair tip. I couldn't get myself to do the whole two pony look. Whew, nice job, other side on YouTube. So here we are, trying to look cute at the beginning <laughs> and in our real honest selves. <laughs> Getting nice and sweaty and without the bandana halfway through class. So we dip and we crunch in that hand and we extend as we arch and lift at the top. Now just because we're doing these side plank dips does not mean that we have an excuse to sink into the shoulders. This whole time I'm here, pressing that full forearm into the mat. I'm avoiding, to the best of my abilities, sinking into that shoulder of my supporting side. Nice job. Next up is a three toe touch to a drop. It's gonna look like this. We go up, one, two, three, and we drop, and we come up, one. You get the drill. That's what we about to do. What's next? Crisscross double leg drops. Okay. We're halfway there. That's what my interval timer is telling me. That's right. We're halfway, we've got this, we are strong. We're trying out what it's like to do a full extended warm up and strength build all in one, two, and one. Nice job. Hands go underneath that small of your back. We lift up those shoulders and we're gonna double leg drop while we criss cross. Shoulders away from your ears if you can. Shoulders come off the mat. So we're crisscrossing, we're double leg dropping. Is that considered a rhyme? Crossing, dropping, yes. I was like, did I use the same word? Ah, all right, keep squeezing. I could even sense it. My shoulders wanted to creep up to my ears and I was like, no, not happening. I'm not holding tension in my neck. Now, if you need to, your neck can go to the mat. Your hands can come to the sides and you can still do the leg drop. The higher the drop, the easier it is. We hold it in, we get back onto our elbows and we do a spider elbow plank like this. Shoulders over elbows. Fill that space between the shoulder blades. And we bring our knees to those shoulders. We're not gonna have a dynamic plank section for today's class of a lot of planks because we got our sliders with us. So I have to get my whole spider plank, commandos, fun stuff in right now. Elbows to the shoulders, shoulders over wrists, I mean elbows. Nice job, we rest. Next up is a commando jack. You ready? Let's go. We bring it down, we come up to a jack. We bring it up, we bring it in. We bring it down, commando jack. We bring it up, we bring it in. Nice, keep going. I'm gonna try my best to remember to alternate the elbows and the feet. Honestly, that's a lot to think about. I know, it is so not Asian of me to have my shoes in the household on this mat. Let me tell y'all, those dirty feet on YouTube, we're not doing it for me. Next up 
is going to be a single leg jack. It looks like this. We single leg up and down. Just one side. We're gonna do the other side next. Don't worry, I got you. Symmetry, single leg jacks. Let's go. We're almost there, y'all. How are you feeling? You good? Pump it up. Reach for those toes. Tuck in that belly. Build that sweat. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. Tell me how you feel day two. Then we'll talk. Actually, I'll talk to you every week. Come here. Two and one. Other side, you ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice exhale. Reach. Yes. I love it. We're here. We reach for that top toe. Of course, if you wanted to really bring it up a notch, you could have a light weight in your hand as you reach for those toes. You bring up the full torso, hinging above the hips all at once. Try it. If you can't reach for those toes, you bend those knees. Try it. Keep going. Continue. We are almost there, beloveds. My hands are so dirty. Seated V crunch is next. Ready? Let's go. We're up and we're seated Vs. Now, let me tell you, you could, if you want, have that V in a nice straight leg. That's not me. Shoulders away from your ears. We keep tucking in that low belly. Speak to it. Cause you know what, honey? This, yes I said honey, is your low ab workout. Not your hip workout, not your quad workout, your low abs. Let's go. Woo, eagle crunch. We almost there. Cross knee, cross elbow. We tuck in and we go. Y'all, three more moves after this. You feel that burn? Because I sure do. This eagle crunch always gets me because I'm always like, oh, can't be that bad. But here we are. Uh, I'm gonna see how this makes me feel tomorrow to determine if we're gonna do a split like this again. It's definitely pushing me. Oh my gosh. Okay, next up is a reverse crunch corkscrew. I have to take my hair apart. We corkscrew up. So it's a reverse crunch twist. We're twisting at the top of that reverse crunch. So this is both a great low ab workout, but also a solid transverse abdominal workout. I want you to try your best to pause at the top of that twist. Slow, controlled, drop back down to the floor, right? It's super easy to just plop back down, but it's in that way that you bring yourself back down where you really have to get strength in your control. Next up is a seated crunch twist. Hands by the nape of our neck, we come up and we twist down and twist. Who knows what my hair looks like. I'll fix it. Getting the real live picture of what I look like working out in my apartment. Although this is the Great Western gym. 
twist, exhale at the top. I know some of y'all miss the sun dragon. It's still here. But don't you like this cute little setup? Y'all, you know what's up? One more move. And that is our high V and hundreds. Let's go. So we bring our feet into a nice V hold and we bounce, we pulse, we go. Why is this called the hundreds? I have no idea. Will I do 100 pulses? Maybe, maybe more. Who knows? It's almost like whenever I say, this is an hour. It is an hour-ish. Or it's like, this is a core minute. This is your core 100. This is your core hour. Time is a social construct, kind of. And we did it. Ooh, y'all, workout complete. Do you see this confetti? I like it. Using my new interval timer. Okay, friends, we're about to pump it up another notch. We fold over first to the right, to the left. We stretch it out, we stretch it out. Grab a sip of water, because you deserve it. We deserve it. I don't know what I look like, but here we are. Water. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friends, I'm pumped. You know why? It's been a long minute since I've been on the internet and had done a dynamic plank with floor sweeps, and that's what we're about to do today. You're gonna get some serious dynamic plank in sweep, sweeps, floor sliders. Wow, words, really hard today. Sweeping action, and we're gonna get some side booty action. Everyone loves good booty action, side booty, in core class that is. So, wow, my YouTube debuts are really probably limited right now. Um, you're gonna wanna fold up your mat if you need to for your wrist control. You're gonna want your sliders that I had you prepare. You're gonna put them in front of you. The first one is going to be a pike. I'm gonna demo before we get started, but just know that it is going to be a quick little shoulder exercise. Um, and it is going to look like this. We're gonna have our hands underneath our shoulder blades. You're gonna come into nice plank, and you're gonna pike up, and you're gonna go back down. You're gonna pike up, and you're gonna go back down. A couple key things. Shoulders are away from your ears. Filling that space between the shoulder blades. Low ribs to belly. Nice and woven together. We hinge at the hips, and then we fall back to a plank. If you can't do that, and you wanna be on your elbows, then get your knees on these gliders. You come on to those elbows. You go up, and you come in. Out, and in. I need you to promise me we are not twerking. I need you to promise me no broken necks. No twerking, no broken necks. We weave together. Neck is an extension of our back. We have nice long crowns of our heads. That's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed that water break. One more thing, if you don't have a slider and you still wanna do this, you're gonna go from your pike all the way up top, back down. All the way up top, back down. You ready? Am I ready? Yes, I drink that water, I will not throw it up. I am going to change up my music because it is getting old. All right, friends, we can do this. It is a long night. After this, we do our side booty action. Three, two, and one, let's go. Just under a minute. We really squeeze. 
squeeze together those little abs, yeah? Woo! I'm already feeling it. It has been uh, a time. Get those hips up. Don't sink into those shoulders. Nice exhale as we lift up. Five more seconds. And one nice job off of that floor sweep we go. We come on to our knee. Y'all, this is about to be one of my favorites. We get onto our side knee. We use that mat as a nice, um, what is the word, padding. Shoulders over hips, knees, and ankles, nice and squared. Hands go out to a T, we tip on over. We're gonna start off in three, two, and one with our normal good old leg crunches. We're gonna do these leg, sorry, leg lifts. We're gonna have this leg lift. We got a nice exhale at the top of that lift. And then we're gonna switch on over to some leg crunches. Until then, you got 10 beautiful side booty seconds right here. Three, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold, crunch in. Nice exhale as you bring that knee into that elbow. 20 more seconds on the clock, you got it. We squeeze, we crunch. We get that right leg in action. Don't worry, I got your other side later, but for now, we make sure that we have a nice long back. We're still tucking in that belly, and we are not twerking. We come up, and we do our floor sweeps round two. Floor sweeps round two are gonna look like this. Your feet, on the little disc, wow, my side booty really is feeling it. Hands go to the floor. We come out, we slide into one side, back out to the other, back out. If you do not have your sliders, out, in, out, in, or hop, hop. Whatever it is, this is always apartment, upstairs friendly. I try to figure out all of the alternatives. Try to give it all you got and take a quick little pause if you need to, but I encourage you to keep going. We continue, three, two, and one, let's go. Feel those side bodies just really squeezing into those armpits. If you cannot, here, I have the internet playing and Sid is singing. I tried and I am trying to hold it together right here. 10 seconds, y'all. Let's go, we got this. Ooh, crunch it in, feel that burn. Three, two, and one. I don't know how high def this is, but your girl is shaking. All right. You ready? Sorry. Sorry, dust my totoro. Okay, round two. Hands go out to our side. Same deal, shoulders, hips, knees squared. We crunch over. And we go, 30 seconds on the clock. If I didn't say it the last time, I want you to remember, your shoulders are stacked, your hips are stacked, and that means I don't have like an opening or a covering. I'm making sure that my shoulders, in theory, are in line, my hips are in line, and my shoulders and my hips are in line together. Three, two, and one, we stay, and we crunch in. Woo! 
That's fun. I told you, we're all learning together. I have been teaching these core classes at Great Western for almost three years, and I still can always be better. Growth is not linear. Three, two, and one. We're here. Okay, friends, next up is going to be our mountain climbers to jacks. I know y'all aren't ready for this, but you are. We're gonna go mountain climbers, jacks, climbers, jacks. Now, if you do not have sliders, you all know what a mountain climber is, you know what a plank jack is. So I'm not gonna demo, but if you have a slider, it gives us an opportunity to speed up that move and stay solid and controlled. You have the option to be in your elbows or full plank. I'm gonna go for a full plank. And when we're ready, we're gonna do alternations in three, two, and one. Let's go. Mountain climbers, press index finger and thumb into the mat. Keep that booty nice and low. Try to keep those hips at the same height, if anything, as your shoulders. Fill that space between the shoulder blades. Come out, jacks. Breathe. Don't sink into those elbows. Don't sink into those wrists. Don't sink into the shoulders. We keep going. We keep moving. Three, two, one. Go. Mountain climbers. Keep that booty low. Tuck it in. At the low belly. Three, two, one. Jacks. 10 seconds. We've got this. Let's go, y'all. Build out that heart rate. Three, two, and one. We did it. It's all ready. Get back onto that side knee. We're gonna do a combo. Shoulders, hips squared. We lift up. We're gonna do a side leg lift to a crunch. Let's go. Leg lift to a crunch. Right here. So now we get side booty and core action together. How are y'all feeling right now? You good? Make sure you're not sinking into those shoulders. We are definitely more than halfway through class. And um, I am already feeling it. I'm trying my best. When I say I'm feeling it, I am feeling it. I'm tired, so I need to pay extra attention to my form to make sure I'm not doing what my body wants to do, which is start compromising. We're up. 50 seconds was right there. One more plank in sliders, move to go. We're gonna be in an elbow plank seesaw. Gonna go forward and backward. If you don't have your sliders, it is all good, because you could do just the same, rocking back and forth. Keep that space between the shoulder blades squared, belly button to the spine. We get onto our mats. We go like this. Easy, right? Easy. Focus. As we get more tired, I try to keep the moves a lot simpler so we can pay more attention to how our body's moving. Like I'm noticing it's hard to squeeze myself forward from rocking back because it's really pulling on more of my lower abs, which are a little weaker. I don't want to sink into my shoulder blades. My gaze, remember, is nice and about where my fingers are because I am not breaking my neck. I'm weaving together my low ribs. Three, two, ooh, and one. 
Jeez. You ready? Come on, y'all. Let's show that one more side booty some love. And then we gotta do our burn down. Arms go out. We fold on over. Squared, squared. Let's do it. Right here. Nice exhale at the lift. Nice exhale at the crunch. I wanna make sure I can check myself. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked, forehead shining. I also tend to start collapsing in my booty. Again, that's because I wanna compromise where I maybe am not that strong in my side booty. I'm compromising definitely in that low ab work. So I have to be mindful. I stop, I pause, I pay close attention to what's happening here. Three, two, and one. Ta-da! All right, y'all. We are almost there, and I mean it. We are almost there. We've got our burn down and our three minute plank hold. And my friends, we're good. We're done. So thank you for joining me. We are almost there. Burn down. If you don't already know, this is what's about to happen. We do our 50 seconds, five moves, two rounds. Same things. I'm setting up my interval timer to make sure we're good. We got 10 moves, because it's two rounds, and that's it. We're about to be almost done. So the first one is gonna be a reverse crunch to low boat. Because that is the case, I'm gonna remove this. Reverse crunch to low boat. We're gonna do a bent tabletop. Oblique crunches, because we didn't do enough obliques. And we end with a Russian twist. Reverse crunch to low boat. I'm gonna start my timer because it's 10 seconds, but you're gonna go reverse crunch to low boat. That's it. Low back to the mat. Shoulders off the mat if you want. We ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's get at those low abs, shall we? Okay, so. As I mentioned, with these burn downs, I love a good, solid, simple move. So you can really focus on what you're trying to tackle. Right now we're tackling our low abs. You lift up a little bit of that booty. When you bring out those legs in front of you, the lower the leg drop, the harder it is on the low abs. If you're struggling to keep that low back to the mat, bring that lift a little higher. It's gonna make it a lot easier. I care much more about that low back to the mat than I do about how low your low boat is. Next up is a tabletop. We're gonna go single leg, single leg, double leg drop. It's really gonna call on your upper core. Let's begin because I'm getting those shoulders off the mat. I'm gonna try to remember to alternate my leg drop, but if I don't, why don't you try it? It's a single leg, single leg, and double leg. Who would have known this far into a workout how heavy your own legs could be? If you can really feel it, like if I were like, zoom in. Zoom in on this little belly, watch it. Tremble, right there. We got five seconds on the clock. After this is gonna be our oblique crunch. All right, choose a side. I'm gonna choose my right side first. You know the drill. We get our double legs up and we oblique crunch. Now if you can't do a double leg V, do a double bent knee. If you can't do that, single leg. If you can't do that, 
focusing on me. I care is about you doing the best version for you. Now, if you're like, I'm not sure which one I can do, why don't you try it? Try the double leg. Just try it once. Try it twice. Maybe try it three times. And then if you're like, really, I can't? Okay, that's fine. Bend knee it is. We're aiming to get that side crunch in, but also this is helping form the transverse abdominal of the bottom side. Whew. Other side. Flip it over. Three, two, and one. We go up. Whew. How y'all doing? Are we good? We're getting that crunch in. We're staying up. Exhale and lift. Exhale and lift. We've got it. Again, if you're getting too tired with this, bend that knee, single that leg, single that knee. Do that before you say, I cannot, because I promise you, you can keep going just a little more. All right, Russian twist. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Easy. If you want, grab that bottle, have that weight. Here, I am promoting core, healthy relationships with our body and strength, healthy awareness on how we think about growth and progress, and promoting water. Let's keep all of our water nice and safe and drinkable. Is that still not true for everyone? And also, water is not limitless, so here we are. What's up from California? All right, friends, let's go. Nice job. You know what we just did? We just did one whole round of that. We got one more to go. Reverse crunch to low boat. And exhale on that reverse crunch. Extend out. I need to move this a little. I almost feel like I'm in the water, as I'm talking about water, doing like a back stroke sort of thing. You know, this is core class. We imagine ourselves as a rod. We imagine ourselves as golfers. We imagine ourselves as swimmers, even if this may not be the move. Y'all, you know what's next? Tabletop drop. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Single leg, single leg. Double leg. Remember, if that low back is trying to get up, I want you to bring those hands to the side, shoulders away from your ears, bring that neck to the mat. I promise you, this is still a move. This is still a workout. You do what you need to do. I do not want you lifting those shoulders off the mat if you cannot keep that small back to the mat. We're almost there, y'all. Two obliques, one Russian twist, standing between us and a really fun three-minute plank. I love a three-minute plank, don't you? I love feeling how it feels to just finish the whole three minutes and know that I survived one more. I also just honestly love knowing my progress with it. If you haven't noticed, well I guess because I haven't been on YouTube that long, but 
even on Facebook. You know, I'm struggling. My form could be better. Sometimes I need to take a break. Sometimes I'm saying words that I shouldn't be saying. But when you finish and get to that three minute plank, wherever you are, I can say, I am proud of me. You are proud of you, hopefully. Because we did one more hour that we dedicated to ourselves. One more side. Y'all ready? Get everything nice and stacked. You know the drill. Let's go. Nice. Exhale. Get those heels touched. Toes touched. Exhale on the crunch. like in the zone, really focused. Man, today we did a hit workout. We did a pretty intense, almost 18 minute straight up core session in the middle. We did our dynamic planks. We're burning it down still. Wow, look at us. Okay, y'all ready? Grab that water, grab your soul, say you can do it and we, Continue. Come on, y'all. Last 50 second burn down. And then we do our three minute plank hold. And we are done. My little core cuties. Right here. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Share it with a friend. Share it with a family member. Find your people to do this workout with, build that community because you know what? Even when the time comes, when we're all hanging out together at Great Western, doing core, community can be forever. And with that cheesy note, we did it. Confetti. Okay, friends, we did it, but we aren't done done, because we got our three minute plank hold. One more time. I am parched. Okay, so if you don't already know, when we do a three minute plank hold, you know what else we do? We make sure that we are doing our um, three minute plank hold song. So I got mine down. It's going to be Beyonce from her homecoming album, Before I Let Go. I'll play it in a minute. One minute elbow, one minute hip, hip, forehead, shoulder, and one minute full plank. I believe in myself. Say it for yourself. Y'all ready? Let's do this. We're gonna get onto our elbows. Shoulders are gonna be elbows, shoulders, hips width apart. Feet are gonna be nice and together. We're not twerking, we're weaving together everything together all at once. And in three, and in two, we start. I love this song. All right. I don't know if you can hear it. I also don't know if, you can, if they're gonna play over my music, but you know what, here we are. I love this song. Your three minute plank song is that three minute song. It should be three minutes because it'll be sad if it ends before your plank. But it's what keeps you going, inspires you, and then it's like so good where you inspire you. Like yes, I am so proud of myself. Right here, knocking out almost one minute already in an elbow plank. Remember the crown of your head is a nice long extension all the way to those heels. Balls of your feet into the mat, filling that space between the shoulder blades, really setting that belly button to the spine. Hip dip, hip dip, forehead, and chin. Let's go. 
Now at that forehead, I want you to make sure you're hinging at the hips, lifting, pushing shoulder toward those hips, gliding solidly to get that chin to the floor. When you bring that chin to the floor, you're making sure you're not sinking into those shoulder blades. You're gliding, look, glide, glide, drop it, come up. We use that upper core to help us. Nothing I would not do. Right here, nothing I wouldn't do more than this three minute plank hold. Before I let you go, here we go. One minute in a full plank. Whew. You got it, y'all. Come on, stay with me. You press, you root that index finger and thumb into that mat. Slight bend in the elbows. You get those shoulders right over those wrists. Feel that strength, feel grounded and rooted into the floor and you press up between those shoulder blades. From the crown of your head to the nape of your neck, we weave those lower ribs. We bring that belly button to the spine. We clench that booty. We breathe. We get those inner thighs together. We get those balls of our feet onto the mat. Come on y'all, 10 seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. We did it up. Whew. No. Yes, maybe, pedal those feet. We come back to a nice plank. Bring it on down, lift up, upward dog. Look to the left, look to the right, center, up and down. We bring that right foot up. We bump and up the foot, the knee, the hips. We twist, center down, open up that other leg, open up the knee, foot, knee, hip, shoulders, twist, center, and down. We pedal those feet, walk them to those hands. Restorative pose if you please. I'm not gonna put my feet on my hands, but you bring those hands underneath those foot beds, feel that stretch. Grab for opposite elbows, shake it out. Gently rest those hands behind the nape of our neck. We bring it on down, slight bend the knees, roll up one vertebra at a time and wrap. And then we windmill those arms forward. We windmill those arms backwards. Right arm up, left hand behind you. Look behind the left shoulder. Exhale and twist. Left up, right behind you. Exhale, twist. Left hand, right hand to the left. Cell five, you did it. Cell five, you did it. Thank you so much for joining another one minute core workout, total core, total side booty here in my lovely Great Western Power Company home. Um, I'll miss you, but thank you. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Rewind on the other videos, show some other instructors some love, and I'll see you next week. Bye.